Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. That going up over the top is probably not the best idea. I was wondering about maybe going up over the top by unhitching the trailer and putting this one on to drag it in over the top. But I'm thinking now that's probably not the best move. What we'll do instead is we will back the trailer in from this end up here, uh, back it in up to the face of the clamp and then tip it there. That would be the best option right now, I think. In fact, I think that would be the only sensible option right now because trying to drag a fully loaded trailer up over this, yeah, that's, that's a little bit much, I think. I think we're going to struggle to do anything like that especially considering these lumps that we got up here. I mean, I am spreading, like, this this bit here, right on this face right here, this, this is spreading out quite nicely here. I like how well that is moving around there. It's, it's all levelling off quite well. If I can just keep doing that a little bit, that'll smooth that off. Nice and clean. Easy does it. Don't get too carried away. And... And wiggle up through again like that, putting unnecessary strain on all the hydraulics on this poor tractor. And there we go. Right, that's that's looking a lot better up that end. And then down this end, it's it's not much better. It's, it's not much different at the moment. But a few backwards and forwards, and that should also then be looking fairly even. Because yeah. I don't understand why it goes, I suppose compacted so quickly is because of how much we've already got compacted and how little we brought in and it did take us a while to sort of wiggle our way through it. Well, there we go, that'll do for a minute, let's go and get some more silage. I'm going to run straight down through here and take this nice long run down here and gather all of that up. It should, in theory, once we've done this bit, take... Um, it was it. It's something like six to seven hours for the grass to turn into hay properly. I think I'm not entirely 100% sure on the exact numbers on that. So we all we got to do is just fast forward time a little bit until the grass does actually turn into hay. But that is something that does bug me about this ever so slightly is because if you cut grass in the afternoon you're going to end up losing half of it. And, like, I, I do like the mechanic with um, seasons where the grass disappears over time. I think that is an absolutely brilliant one, and I really, really like it. But I don't like this new thing for the haymaking where you've got to have it on the ground for six or seven hours. I've been involved with haymaking a lot, and it's completely normal to go and start mowing... a sort of later in the day you start mowing at like four or five o'clock and you mow until 10 11 o'clock in the evening and then the following day you then go along and you do your um you you just start um spreading out the hay um doing all the turning and stuff like that now I, I've, I've said before i do live in a country where it's pretty normal to have to turn the hay once a day or twice a day for two or three days before it's actually ready to be able to be baled it's very, very rare that you have it on the ground drying in the sun for anything less than two days. And you do need to turn it a few times as well. We, we, I live in a very damp environment, a, a very damp climate. Um, so, yeah, I know that there are some places where you mow it and then leave it exactly as it is and then go along and bale it up the following day. That, that to, where I live, that's, that's unheard of. That, that doesn't happen. Um, but... Like, we are, we're, we're sort of using a Central Europe um, geo, I think, and I, I think that's kind of what the, the base game is, something like that, or it might be Southern UK, in which case, kind of the way that we got it, it, it seems a little bit broken. Um, I know that they, they try to do things as realistically as possible with Seasons, and this is one of the things that makes the, the, um, the mod so popular, is because it brings an added layer of realism to the game. But this whole bit where you got to mow and then you got to leave it for a few hours, that's great. That works really well. But when the grass is lying on the ground and you go to the first midnight, if it's not turned into hay before midnight, then 
um, you lose half of what's on the ground. That's the bit that I don't like. That's the bit that really bugs me, and it, it sort of seems a little bit broken to me as well. It, it just it doesn't fit with the overall feel of how everything else works. The rest of it, yeah, it works really well, and it, it's absolutely great, but... Um, I just find that bit slightly disappointing. Um, and also the fact that because, uh, well, the, the way that they've now got the, um, oh, I'm just going to go straight up over like this. I know I said I was going to back in, but I don't think we need to because we've only got the one load. So we just go straight up over the top like that. Um, the only other bit that I do sort of have a slight complaint about is the way that you no longer need to turn the hay. Uh, yes, if we mow it just after it's rained, then yes, we've got to turn it in order for it to dry. But the rest of the time, like that, turning is no longer a thing. It doesn't actually contribute anything to it whatsoever. And I don't like that you've... Wait, I'm still actually running. This thing's still going. Um, I don't like that you've actually got a whole um, job that is no longer needed in the game. Like right? The entire process of actually making the hay has been eliminated. Now all you've got to do is just sit and watch it. And yes, that is realistic for some areas of the world, but most places in Europe, and mo most of the areas in Europe, and the geo, um, that the, the whole season thing is sort of based on, I, I was told the geo is built around somewhere in the UK. And so that bit to me is is really unrealistic. It, it's it's sort of broken it a bit from the base. The, the base game's got it better, but the base game, yeah, you, you've, um, you, you don't have it, you don't have to leave it in the field. It would be nice if there was a combination of the two so that you've got the base game bit working where you do actually have to go over it with a tether. That would be good. And uh, you've also got to leave it for a time in order for it to turn into um, into hay. And the only way that I could sort of look at it, the only way that I can see round that is the fact that when you mow it, it goes to the dry grass stage that it's at now. Um, that bit, I think, should be optional. Um, I know that the, the makers of Seasons have said many times that they don't like the idea of having some of the features optional because that makes it into an arcade feature and they don't like that at all they think it should either be there or not be there um but i think this is definitely one that would work a lot better if it was introduced as a an, an option a choice do you choose to have your grass um being cut as dry grass if it hasn't rained um does it just fall as dry grass you don't have to turn it or it doesn't matter when you last had some rain. If you're in um, an environment like the UK or a lot of Europe, um, it doesn't matter when you cut your grass. You've got to go and you've got to turn it. Turning it is just part of haymaking. You've got no choice. And if you don't turn it, all you end up with is the bottom of the grass not drying properly and possibly starting to rot a little bit and the top of it drying out a bit and you don't get hay. You just get this sorry sort of mess that ends up catching fire when it overheats uh, after you've bailed it all up. So, yeah, you've got to turn it. You've got to. You haven't got any choice. Here in the UK, if you want hay, you've got to turn it. Um, I'd like to be able to have that as an option in the game. I think it would work better if that was a thing in the game, um, which, unfortunately, it's not. And I, th I think it would be a really, really good one as an, um, well, an, an optional option uh, because we don't... We don't generally have any optional options in it do we uh, so get into the comment section today and let me know your thoughts on the matter do you think that for making hay in the game we should at least have the choice of um, making hay according to our region because some regions yes cutting the grass like that so that it just cuts as dry um, that's a normal thing that's that is just how it works um, but yet other regions, such as my region, it, that doesn't happen. You have to go and get the tether on and you have to ted the hay. But it doesn't do anything in this. There is nothing. If you put the hired help going, it just says it's finished. And it doesn't do anything at all. So you've kind of removed that bit and it becomes less realistic. So I think that this instance, despite the people who make seasons really, really disliking the idea of any... Um, 
options like that and they have said before I've, um they've said it on a number of different things no this is not an arcade we, we haven't made an arcade um add-on and we're not turning the game into an arcade game um they don't like the idea of options uh, they don't like the idea of switches you can choose how you want to run things other than like the the length of the season days that seems to be about it um they don't like the idea of having any other options and I think that's a little bit disappointing, really, because um, other than that, you know, so far, Seasons has seemed absolutely brilliant. But this, the whole thing with the haymaking, I do find a little bit disappointing, to be honest. Uh, I would much, much rather have um, haymaking done as haymaking is done in so many different parts of the world. At the moment, if you haven't cut your grass immediately after some rain... Your haymaking is like it is in a very hot climate, and there is no other option. You haven't got any in-between option. And that is, yeah, I, I personally don't like that. I don't like that at all. I would I would much rather have an option there where I could just switch off that bit. Uh, so my grass, when I cut it, is guaranteed to be the green colour when I cut it. And then you've got to ted the hay to turn it into that colour and then leave it in the field in order to dry because that could have the added bonus of right we, we've um, flattened that that could have the added bonus of when the grass is in that state right there it will still be grass to be picked up as silage to go into here but it they could also then change it so that if it's green grass in the field overnight then you lose part of the grass and it stays as grass it doesn't change if, however, your grass looks like that when it's lying down in the field, it follows the same rules as hay, so it will only disappear overnight if it gets rained on. That means then you could cut a larger area of land and you could ted it all and then you could leave it to dry and then the following day you can go and bale it up. That, I think, would work a lot better. That Certainly from a UK sort of point of view, that would be a far, far more realistic um, process for haymaking. But I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe that, maybe that will be a change that will be brought in. Maybe it won't be. We, we, we don't really know. So I want to do that and sheet down the clamp. We have finally done it. Let's see if we can scramble up on here. Probably can't because you get stuck in, you know, uh, you get stuck in the wall, don't you? So let's, let's go up over here like this. Come all the way down here. There we go, we now have a clamp of silage, which is looking absolutely fan A little bit less than I thought to finish off with. Um, it only says 1% at the moment. I think we had about 800,000 litres in there, something like that. So we haven't done too bad for silage overall, so we'll go and put this one away. Now all we've got to do is wait for that grass to start drying out. Um, we can't go and do any tedding or anything like that, so I'm just going to put time speeding along as fast as it can go just like that and we will let the grass dry out now I don't know how long it's going to take we started mowing earlier in the day we should have time for it to all change over but I mean yeah it's, it's, it's definitely a wait and see sort of job isn't it let's just back you in here and we've got space for the Zerian right beside us there um, we're back right in here. I don't know if anybody, I, I, well, I know that some of you caught the live stream. Um, Duck Zorley made an appearance and pretended to get all stroppy because we had two horses in there that were called Duck and Zorley in the stream. Um, and he was driving around in a gold-plated Big M. He seemed very happy driving up and down in his gold-plated Big M. Um, he, he, that, it seemed like the sort of thing that he would do for a very, very long time. But we also had this Zerian on the live stream as well doing a few things. I was driving it around for a little bit. Unfortunately, when you're doing a multiplayer, um, it's... Uh, everything becomes... The steering becomes a little bit more sensitive. It, and it, it makes it a little bit more difficult to do. So when I was using the four-wheel steer on the multi... Uh, with, with the live stream, uh, definitely made life a little bit more difficult for me. 
For those of you who aren't aware, I do a live stream every Friday evening. One week I do Farming Simulator and then the following week I do a different game. So last week was Farming Simulator. Farming Simulator is always a multiplayer live stream where people can come along and join. Um, two stipulations, you do need to be in a great book of names and to get into the great book of names you either support me financially one way or another, there are links in the description down below to um, Patreon um, and also support me with a donation on a live stream and um, there's also uh, if you become an active member of the community, so re frequent and regular comments on the YouTube videos, or if you join our Discord, there is a link to that one in the description. Um, it would be absolutely fantastic to see you there. There's a growing number of people turning up on the Discord, and we've got a growing community there. Um, and just become an active member of the community on the Discord, and that can also earn your way into the Great Book of Names. If you'd like to join the live stream, you do have to be on the Discord anyway, because that is where everything is arranged and organized. Um, so you've, you've got to be on there in order to be able to take part in any of it. Right, I finished doing that. Uh, let me just do that and then go here. The grass has still not changed, right? It's 7 o'clock in the evening and the grass has still not changed color. We've got reasonable drying weather by the look of it but it's still not changed color so we're gonna be go we're gonna it's gonna be like this until midnight at this rate i think about seven hours that it takes but it, it it takes a really really long time to change and if it's not changed before midnight you end up losing half of the stuff that's on the ground it's eight o'clock already I'm, I'm just going to stay fast-forwarding time until we actually get... Them. Let me have a look at here. Go like that. Drying potential. That's not so good. Zero is average, I think. Not entirely sure what um, the different ones are. Because it's cloudy. It's not quite so good with the drying out. Now, I don't know if it tells me how well it dries with this. There. Uh, that's going to be the ground and not the actual grass on the top, though. Uh, so, yeah, if you would like to take part in any of the multiplayer live streams, you do need to come and join the Discord. So um, there's a link to that one in the description. It's a link to another video. Uh, follow that, and then you will get the link to the actual Discord in the second video. It's just easier like that in case I've got to change the link at any point. Um, right. You're not changing. You're not drying out at all. And it's nearly midnight. This, this is what I mean. This is what I don't like. All of this hay that we've now cut, as soon as it turns midnight, if it's not dried, then we've lost we've, we've lost half of all of our grass. The whole lot has just disappeared. Whoosh. A complete and total waste of time. And that is something that really does bug me about how seasons have got haymaking working. Because haymaking doesn't actually work like that in real life. You can have it overnight without losing all of your crop. And right here, it's not doing anything. All that's going to happen is we're going to go to midnight and I'm going to lose half of it. Unless it changes before midnight. Is it going to change before midnight, you think? I'm thinking it's highly unlikely. Right. Did that... Okay, it's it's changed to hay, but... Did we lose... A, I, I don't know if we lost a load of it then or not. I'm not actually sure if we lost a load of it, but it has all changed to hay, which is a good thing. Now, because it's midnight, I don't think I can sleep anymore. I think that is a thing. I need to go back to, over to the house a minute. Let's have a look. And go to there. Oh, I can sleep. Right, that's good. We'll sleep for a couple hours right here. There. And then I will slow down to one time speed. And we need to go and get our rake going. I'm going to use this tractor to do the raking, I think. We haven't used this tractor for a little while. I think this one will be just right for doing a little bit of raking. Although I'll be honest... I am thinking that perhaps we ought to put some food and water in for the animals before we do anything else. 
We've got hardly any water and hardly any food in here for the cows. And we've got hardly any food in there for those either. So we want to spend a little bit of time just feeding the animals. We'll start off with the chickens and we'll get some grain and some water in for them. That's nice and easy. And we'll also clean them up. So let's just do that. Yeah. Water is very, 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 very quick for chickens. That's, that's nice and easy. And then we'll do that and we'll scrape up. We'll go over and we'll scrape up the cows. We don't have to have straw in order to be able to do mixed feed for cows. We can go and put in some... Uh, we can do mixed feed with just hay and silage. Although, actually, no, the silage won't be ready yet. So that doesn't really matter. We, we, we are going to need to make sure that we get them the, the, the right stuff. So we'll just do that a minute. Um, oh, yes, I remember now. I need to reset my... Um, it's lifting it up a long way. Oh, it's... it. My joystick has gone a little bit funny. I need to re... I, I need to reset that. For some strange reason, it's not behaving exactly as it should. I'm, I'm going to have to go into the main settings and reset that. The dead zone has gone and done. I, I think it was with the, the last update. Now, obviously, I've been ill for the last week, as many of you have noticed. And also, I would just like to say a massive thank you to all of the messages of... One, the get well messages that I've been getting. A lot of those. Absolutely brilliant. Um, it's does genuinely make a difference to know that so many people are actually concerned and um, it, it, it's been really cool. Um, but also a big thank you to everybody for all the big congratulations messages that I've been getting because we finally reached 100,000 subscribers. It's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. So a massive thank you to all of you because obviously this would not have happened without all of you. Um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's been absolutely brilliant. So I'm really grateful to everybody uh, for all of your continued and ongoing support that has happened. And it's it, it's just brilliant. Like, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I've 100,000 subscribers. That is a huge number. Absolutely massive number. And I honestly, when I was starting out, um, you know, I, I honestly didn't think that that would be something I would ever be looking at. Look, see, the, the joystick is, is constantly twitching over a little bit, and it shouldn't be. Definitely shouldn't be. Right, I've filled up the horses. Now I've got 11,626 litres left. Actually, you know what? Let me jump off of that one a minute and go back over here. We'll set the water going for the horses because they need to have some water. So we'll do that right there. There we go. That's going to keep them going. Um, wheat and, oh, I need to do the. I, I do need to do the wheat and barley for them. Now I have a look in here. This that they they've got nothing yet. And down through here, water is filling up. We could do putting a little bit of oats in for them. Oats is all right at the moment. They will keep that. They'll keep them going for a minute. And and we've got our various horses here. 242. Oh, some of these are worth a, a, a lot more than others. 249, James Collins. Dog Rocket. 304. Marcus Crawford is worth 423. Um, so we, we've basically just got to keep these horses going. We, we've got to keep them going with... Um, food and stuff and their value slowly increases over time and then eventually uh, we sell them back for a bit of money so you get them for free and then we sell them back so I'll add a load we'll get rid of all the horses at some point and I'll add a whole load more people from the great book of names to the next round of horses so that we can keep that going uh, let me just have a look in here a minute and ooh. We're going to need a lot more. Um, but yeah, some strange reason, I think, in the update for 1.5 point whatever it was that um, I had to download before I could install the 
um, class DLC, uh, it's reset the dead zone setting that I did have for my joystick, which is why I'm getting this um, thing here, because my, well, probably for a lot of people, but certainly for my joystick, um, if I've got a dead zone setting at zero, then it constantly does this. It, it, it won't do anything. And usually mine will do this if I've got a dead zone setting of 2%. I need it to be like 4 or 8%. 8% eight is, is usually pretty good. Um, anything below that does generally start to cause me problems. So we're going to run this back up in. 22484. I may have used one of these bales for horses. That's why it's only a part bale. It's almost a full bale, though. Um, oh, one, one of them will have a, a few thousand missing. Right, let's just do that there, and then do that there. So they're 8,000 litres per bale. That's what we got it set on. And go back in here and have a look. Right, hay silage, that's a lot better. 35,000 in there. That's as good as we're going to get. And then grass is up a little bit. Total mixed ration is the one that we want to get. There is a mod that I'm going to be using that um, is a uh, placeable. You plonk the thing down. Look, see, the joystick's still doing it. Um, placeable that you plonk down. And then we can just go and dump a load of bales and a load of silage and straw and stuff into it. And then you get a big old trailer and you put it underneath the output spout and... You can load it up like that. It's a lot, lot, lot easier than having to do constant um, loads with a TMR wagon. I mean, yeah, the uh, Pecan Mixer is probably a pretty good one to be using. We could do it with the Pecan Mixer because um, that's got 64,000 litres in it, but you still got to load all the bales manually. And it does take quite a while to do that. Uh, I need to be over a bit for that. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's go into here. And on a little bit. There we go. Right. Uh, we got wheat and we got 2,300. But let's, let's just load up some barley in there to start with. Like that. We can have either or. Wheat or barley. Doesn't matter. So we're going to take this little bit over here. Dump that in. And then that's the chickens and the cows all taken care of. And the horses as well. I don't, I don't think we've got oats, have we? I'll have a look. I can't remember now. It's been a while since we will have needed to do anything with um, uh, anything like that. How much can I put in here? There we go. This action cannot be performed. So we can pick that up like that. That's got the chickens now completely fed. We've got the cows fed, and yeah, you can see I'm slowly tipping that bucket over. I've got to watch what I'm doing with this. Let's go back over to this side. Tip that out straight into there like that. And we're done. So yeah, it's, the, the bucket works really well for this, but once we get the pigs and we've got more animals here... Uh, we're going to want to change that around a bit. We're not going to be wanting to just go backwards and forwards with this bucket. We're going to be wanting to use a... Um... Yeah, so you can still hear it. Right. We're going to want to be using the trailer. We've got that little trailer over there that takes 21,000. Probably that one would be alright for doing the pigs with. I think. Uh, there's no guarantee that that's going to be alright, but hopefully it will. Let's have a look in here. Chickens are now looking good. Chickens are now looking great. And cows, they're looking good as well. We've uh, Cleanliness is done. That will catch up. Water is filling up and we've got food in there. And it was only the oats. Let's just What have we got? We have got some oats. Let's go and do that bit. I don't want to forget that. Then we can go and get started on actually raking up the hay. So we've got a little bit to do with the raking of the hay. It shouldn't take too long. Because we do have a nice big rake to go and do all of that with. So it shouldn't take too long to do the job. And then we can get on and do some baling. Um, now, I can go and, in theory, set some course play courses to do this. And I'm, more and more of you are asking me to use them. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, 
If you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.